And good evening and welcome to your view with me, Kobute JJ Taban. I'm coming to you live from Linden in Johannesburg. And our frank talk tonight is with uh, Floyd Chibambu, the Deputy President of the Economic Freedom Fighters. He was re elected in Nazrek, they had their own Nazrek, uh, in December. Um, and uh, not uncontested, I must say, contested by the chairperson. Oh, no, no, almost contested by the chairperson, uh, uh, Dalimpo Fuven who didn't make the threshold, a very surprising development there. And of course, he's going to tell me that all about that. But tonight, we're going to focus on the economy. They are the economic freedom fighters. What are they doing to fight for that economic freedom? And what's the assessment of the state of our economy? Floyd, welcome. Thank you so much. No, thank you very much for inviting us. Truly appreciate your time. Uh, I, think we've, I think it's been three years maybe since I, I, I talked to you. And you've been busy. Yes, uh, we've been uh, engaging in a variety of activities and yeah. uh, I think the results are showing that the EFF uh, since three years ago has yeah. uh, both qualitatively and quantitatively grown yeah. uh, in a very significant way. We are bigger than we were three years ago and uh, yeah. we make far much more qualitative inputs in terms of what is to be done in South Africa. So we're here now to engage in terms of what should happen. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do you have a sense, and we'll come to the EFF and, uh, you know, and, and some of the dynamics, I want to start with the economy right away, since yes. while I'm still heated from that diverse uh, discussion. Yes, you know? yes, yes. Um, uh, do, do you get a sense, though, that uh, there, there isn't enough people, right, who can give you the, the relevant mass or, or muscle to actually govern, even in one municipality or one province? Uh, and, and as part of your strategy, maybe, did you look at a possibility of maybe targeting a province and saying, let's, let's throw all our resources there so that we at least have a base where we, we can demonstrate our capacity to govern? Look, our approach from the beginning as the EFF has been to holistically grow in all corners of South Africa. Yeah. So we do not focus in one corner of South Africa. We yeah. do not want to be a regional, a regional or a provision party. party. Yeah. We want to be an organization that finds a representation everywhere. I mean, like now, we are represented uh, in more than 230 municipalities of the 247 that are there in South yeah. Africa uh, with the public representatives that were elected by the people there. So that is the approach that we have taken, that we must not corner ourselves into uh, some corner somewhere in, in Limpompo or in yeah. Houting. Let us grow as a national organization. And that is one of the biggest achievements of the EFF since its formation in 2013, yeah. that we have found expression in all corners of South Africa. So we've got, we've got municipal representatives uh, in virtually every corner of South Africa, in Mshabaya Lingana, uh, in, 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 in the Great Karu, yeah. almost everywhere. The but EFF none where you rule outright. Yeah. Does that worry you? Now, look, we are not concerned about that because... In terms of uh, our own initial estimations, we are growing at a very correct and, and, and satisfactory pace mm -hmm. as the organization. Uh, because you cannot just arrive, first elections, you're not even a year old, and then the people give you governance. Uh, yeah. Even if your, your points and your manifesto is cogent, is very persuasive, yeah. they must first trust you with the sum of votes and then you demonstrate your strength and then they give you more votes yeah. and then with time they will give you government but by 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 judging of what has been happening in the past six years it looks like we're, we're going straight uh, to to running this country yeah. we're going to provide decisive leadership to the people of south africa once the people of south africa have uh, trusted us with that responsibility and it yeah. looks like it will be sooner than Many people anticipate. Yeah. You surprised a lot of people after the local government elections were in fact yet an opportunity, right, to govern somewhere, right? Uh, we could have done a, a lot of uh, horse trading, etc., etc., and you decided to take almost like a backseat or at least a strategic, uh, uh, you know, intervention or influential position instead of being in the front line of being in the executive, MMCs, mayors, etc., etc. You seem to have changed that tech now, right? Uh, what has changed? Look, you, you must remember now, you that to Jobe, when Jobek fell off the radar of the DA, you, uh, you, you filled out your own candidate, knowing fully well you, you, you actually don't have the numbers. What has changed? You must remember that in 2016, the organization had just turned three years. Uh, yeah. So we are, we are, we are not in, in no position to correctly assess our collective capacity to could provide government. So we chose 
a political principle over convenience. It was going to be very convenient of us to demand to have government in Johannesburg in exchange of Nelson Mandela, Rustenburg, Tabazimbi, Tswane, and a variety of other municipalities that did not have outright winners in KwaZulu Natal, in yeah. Tuba Tuba, in Josini, in, a, in a Zuland district. Yeah. We could have easily said that give us government and we'll try with our three year existence experience. And a lot of mistakes could have uh, possibly happened, but we used our strategic positioning as the yeah. EFF to bargain for the interest of the people. There's more than 7,000 workers uh, across all the municipalities that have been insourced due to the EFF's interventions and motions in Johannesburg, in Nelson Mandela Bay, in Tswane, where, where yep. workers who used to be paid 2,500 are now paid not less than 7,000 rand uh, per month uh, as wages uh, and yep. with proper benefits in terms of what happens. But a variety of other things, 24-hour clinics here in Johannesburg, uh, better working conditions for the Metropolis Department yeah. and, and concentration in poorer areas instead of budgets that was focusing in areas which otherwise do not need any government yeah. interventions. So the EFF has achieved a lot for the people instead you, you, you of came, ourselves. Yeah, you came under a bit of fire for consulting with the DA, right? And I'm using the word consulting advised because I don't want you to say, no, we're not a coalition, I'm not interested in that. I want us to just talk substance in that you made sure that the ends is out and you are very clear. Right? Look what did actually... Why, why, hang on, hang on. So yes. I, I, just follow my logic here. So, yes. so you took what most uh, people said, no, this was, this was a, a principle decision because you realize these ones are stealing, you want them out. So you'll trust in a bit this one, support them strategically, if, at least in terms of getting them to be the ones who are governing, even though you are in their, in their back, right? Why did that change when it came to Mashaba leaving, don't you think, right, that given your initial correct decision to, 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 to side with the DA, so to speak, just for lack of a better description, right, that you should have ensured that that lasted the whole term of office. In other words, even when Mashaba was not there, you could have continued to support the DA to finish their term because you knew you're not going to make it because your numbers don't, don't work. And what you didn't want, which is the ANC to be in power, has now come to pass in Johannesburg under your watch. Now look, a clearer context of yeah. what we did in 2016 yeah. is that we voted with opposition parties, not just the Democratic Alliance. In Mitsima Ulu, we voted for a yeah. mayor from Mitsima Ulu's Residence Association. Sure. In Tabazimbi, we voted for a mayor from Tabazimbi Residence Association. Okay. In, a, in, in about six municipalities in KwaZulu Natal, we voted for IFP mayors and governments there. Yeah. And in areas where the party which was majority in terms of numbers that could provide government, yeah. we voted for coalition governments that were led by the Democratic Alliance. But the Democratic Alliance became too arrogant because of their own di dynamics internally yeah. uh, in terms of how they got engaged with their, their own coalition partners and how they got engaged sure. with us. And then we say that instead of us voting for the Democratic Alliance, let us rather field a mayor candidate and that is what we did in Johannesburg yeah. in the recent past. And, and then, of course, the, the council voted for a questionable ANC character. He's currently a yeah. mayor. He's going to be removed when we go to local government elections next year. Yeah. And we'll then decide what happens. And we, we, we're quite confident that yeah. with the grounding and the consistent growth of the EFF here in Johannesburg, we're going to provide the leadership of uh, the city of Johannesburg. Yeah. But in uh, hindsight, with, with, in, in, right, in terms of because you feel that your candidate for, not for sure. I think you feel your candidate because you thought, why can't we feel somebody ourselves and govern, isn't it? And, and, and you assume that there may be some support uh, given the divisions in the DA, etc. It would have resulted in you winning. I don't think you're just fielding them. No, we're not just sure. fielding for, 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 for the sake of fielding. We're fielding yeah. a very capable uh, yes. councillors of the EFF. Because but, as a matter of fact, being like, like, inadequate. as a matter of fact, we might be the quantitative minority in the city of Johannesburg. Yeah. But qualitatively, we're majority. We, 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 yeah. we determined the agenda. You think of you overplayed whatever. your hand? No, we, we, we didn't. We, 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 we knew that if Musa Novella, the chairperson of yeah. the EFF in Johannesburg, had been elected as mayor, the people of Johannesburg were going to realize and, and experience 
the quality governance that is going to come from uh, yeah. that was going to come from the economic freedom fighters. Did and the ANC lobby you not to vote with the DA or not? They 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 they, in, they did. We actually spoke with uh, the leadership of yeah. the ANC uh, with a sole uh, persuasion that let us vote for an EFF mayor so that uh, we can provide the. Yeah. A decisive they because the ones that are in now are conflicted. Some of them are in the pockets of dimension data, and we know mm. how they're going to deal with all these issues and all of, and, and yeah. everything else. There, so it's 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 one of the things that yeah. uh, uh, is, is a missed opportunity. But the, yeah. the voters of Johannesburg were confident that with the with the consistent growth. So if you check the EFF numbers from 2014 uh, to 2016 to yeah. 2019 in Johannesburg. They have been consistently and impressively growing, and that points the direction that ultimately will yeah. take over government. But all of it city. now, Floyd, uh, resulting in instability in Joburg, and we see the instability in Swane. What does this say about coalition governments? Do you think that maybe you know, we should be steering more away from coalition government, given that they failed now in three areas? Uh, uh, you know, Nelson Mandela, Tswane, and Jobe, briefly? Whether there must be coalition governments or not is a decision of uh, the voters. The voters mm. must choose if they want a government that is going to be provided by one political yeah. party. But if you, you provide a stalemate, if you, you provide a situation where there is no outright winner, yeah. you, you somehow force a coalition government and you will be, of course, you will not get everything else that you voted for. Because they make compromises that yeah. no, we can at least live with this, but not that and everything else there. But in terms of uh, what we, we, we envisage for the future, yeah. we would want to provide government alone. But in the context of what we have now decided, we then say that as the EFF, in the, in the, amidst all these issues of who must be mayor, who must be what, yeah. the EFF is now available to be government. So you are ready we to govern yeah. now. We are ready to govern. All right. We are more than ready to govern. Up. I want yes. to understand yes. now that you are ready to govern. Yes. If you are to govern this country, right, first of all, what's your assessment as of EFF of the economy of this country? Secondly, what are the big solutions? And I want some big uh, ticket items. We'll talk about that straight after the break. We're That's talking right. to Fred Shivam, who has just outlined how the EFF has been working and he says they are ready to govern. Stay tuned for an economic discussion straight after the break.